none other than one of the greatest countries in the world. Oh yeah. A lot of you, a lot of our southern friends have wanted us to try Australian food for a very long time. And I'm very excited to tell you that today is we the day are Aussies! Woo! Crikey, mate! It's already begun! <laughs> Before we get started, a word from our sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes conquering the kitchen easy with deliciously simple recipes. Fresh, measured ingredients along with six-step pictured instructions are delivered to your door each week in an insulated box. Spend less time meal planning and grocery shopping and get more time back to do more of what you love. You get three plans to choose from, the classic, the veggie, and the family, with the option to switch it up week to week. Get out of that recipe rut and out of your comfort zone in discovering new and delicious recipes each and every week. HelloFresh is now starting from $6.99 per serving. And these marinated steak tacos are my new summer favorite. Get started with $80 off your first month. That's eight free meals. Just visit HelloFresh.com, enter promo code TRIBE80. That's T-R-Y-B-E-8-0. Best value, delicious choice. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Seriously, they have sponsored this show for two years plus now and we would not be where we're at without them. So thank yes. you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this episode. Anyway, we've got some fun facts for you guys real quick before we get started eating this delicious food. All the way from Australia. From down under! From down under! Did you know that the toilet bowl spins the opposite direction? Not the bowl, but the water. Too obvious. <laughs> if your toilet bowl is spinning, you should get it checked. Before we get started too much, hey mates, your Canadian accents were on point, but please don't attempt an Australian accent the whole video. You can try your best, but it'll be a terrible experience for everyone. <laughs> you heard it. We've given- Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they gave us money. They gave us a cash tip. Oh, dang. This cash this tip. is money look, for look, our guys, silence. If you is want... that the Queen of England? Why would they have a Queen look of England the on picture. their currency in Australia? Look at the picture. Oh, that is a Queen of England. Yeah. <laughs> Her eyes are wild. Don't get lost in them. Dude, they're like gazing into mine. <laughs> Old people with curly hair. All look like in, the Queen of England. Printed in black and white. All look like the Queen of England. Fun, Fun fact. fact. Australia has the world's longest golf course, measuring more than 850 miles long. 850 miles. What are you guys playing with? Cannons? Oh, that'd be <laughs> I would it. definitely play we golf. Boom, and it's and you launch it. Australia is home to 21 of the world's 25 most venomous snakes. Nope, I'm not going to Australia. 21 my mind. of the 25. You're looking like 95%. Where are the other four? It would take around 29 years to visit one new Aussie beach every day. There's more than 10,000 of them. But if you've been to one beach, you've pretty much been to them all. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna try these Tim Tams and a Tim Tam Slam. Are we dipping I, the Tim Tam in the Milo? So this one, no, we just eat. This one, okay. This looks fantastic. Boom! That's yummy. Double coated, wow! I have had a chocolate craving this last month. I don't know what it is, but man, this is hitting the spot. Nailed it! So with that one, you're gonna do a Tim Tam Slam. You bite off opposite corners of the Tim Tam and then suck the drink through it, and then slam it. Look, they show you a picture. Designed to slam. Look at that, designed to slam. <laughs> what is this? It's a thing, man. It's probably like, I mean, I would imagine the whole world has Oreos, but if they don't, I would imagine Tim Tams are probably Australia's version, a much better version. I'm not seeing a hole. <laughs> it doesn't are you? Oh, it's getting like soggy. Mm. All right, I'm gonna slam it. I'm gonna slam it. Mm. Slam it. Ah. Oh. What just happened? Oh my gosh. Genius. You bring it into the cookie. Yeah. No dipping it like a dip wad. You freaking <laughs> suck it into the cookie like a suck wad. <laughs> you can like feel the cookie inside mm -hmm. of it deflate. Mm -hmm. You slam it and it disintegrates in your mouth. Wow. All right, well that's it. Men try Tim Tams, that's this video. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Pods. Snickers. Are you a Snickers guy or a Twix guy? 
Twix. That's a tough one for me. <laughs> I really like Snickers. I will buy a Twix before I buy a Snickers. Really? Yeah. All right, let's try this bad boy. Boom. Are you Dunkin' yours? No, oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, that doesn't taste like a Snickers. This doesn't taste like a Twix. So this uses Snickers cream, and this uses Twix caramel. Oh, that's it? That's it. So the pods are like chocolate with this cookie thing, and then they just replace the middle with something think they else. Float. I like the Twix ones. I'd rather just have a regular Snickers or a regular Twix. These don't cut it for me. Next item on the list. This one says it's a Twisties chicken. Cheetos balls, cheese and bacon. Well, you don't want your chicken Twisties? Smell this. Smell it. That don't smell like chicken. No, it doesn't. It smells like beef jerky. That does smell like beef jerky. That instantly is a turn off. Because when I want a Cheeto, I want a freaking Cheeto. I don't want jerky. You want, you want beef jerky? Ready? Wait, wait, I want to try those with you. I got two balls. I got two. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. No. It's almost like a smoky flavor. Oh, no. No. What kind of bacon you guys got over there? You know, we started off on such a pinnacle here, Australia. We got the Tim Tam Slams right out of the gate, and right now we're just on a winding path downward. I'd rather just have regular Cheetos. Let's see how this chicken tastes. What are they made of? It looks like weird, like petrified egg. That's exactly what it is, yeah. Like a duck, that's, straight up. No, it's called straight chicken. Up. Just take egg yolk, dry it out, twist it, package it. Gross. Oh, I figured it out. I know exactly what flavor this is. What? Top ramen chicken. Like if you were to just take the noodles, Sprinkle the chicken on it. That's exactly what that is. Right. This one already disappointed in the name. It's called a violet crumble. Mm -hmm. Should be called violent crumble. That just sounds way more enticing. Blow up? Here's what we'll do. Make this quick and easy. We'll put a yes and a no pile. Go. Oh. What just happened? Violent crumble is what happened. Yes, no? <laughs> no. The texture's kind of cool. I kinda, it's it's kind of a pleasurable journey till the aftertaste kicks in. Yeah, the aftertaste is bad. <laughs> oh, Choquito. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to Choquito. <laughs> you, you ready for a little Choquito? Chewy caramel fudge, crunchy balls, and loads of chocolate. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that looks oh. yummy. Mm-hmm. Yes! I like it. Wow! I'll take a Choquito, Choquito anytime. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like a hundred grand. Boost! Yeah, I mean, I will say, so far I feel like Australia has the most unique... Names. Chocolate bars and yeah, names. Yeah. Smooth chocolate chalk center packed with biscuits rolled in chewy caramel all covered in Cadbury Ooh. milk chocolate. Oh. Oh! Look at that stretch. Yes. That's a yes. That is a definite yes. The twirl. Twirl? Two bars, swirls, and curls, and covered in Cadbury Dairy Milk milk chocolate. Oh, there's two. They're like a Twix. Swirls and curls? Does that mean one's named Swirl and the other one's named Curl? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's exactly what I thought it would be. Although the flake does taste good. It's like this nice light area. Yeah. Like it, if I had to eat just chocolate, this is, this good. is the one I'd want to do. Very light. Very flavorful chocolate. I dig it. Cherry Roip. Crikey. What? I'm okay. sorry. Okay, we, we grew up watching Steve Irwin. We got the I'm right. I'm very, very sorry. We have the right. <laughs> we don't have any right. Steve Irwin was an icon, no matter where you're from. Well, Who would have known? It? A country of convicts could produce such a great guy in Steve Irwin. He apologizes for me for making an accent, yet he keeps calling me convicts. <laughs> Who's the real one who needs to be apologized Hey, for? if I, you know, if, if I was a country of convicts, I'd be proud of that. Ripe, juicy cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate. Uh, I'm not gonna like it. I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> like it either. So it's got marzipan in it. It doesn't say marzipan. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Mounds and Almond Joy, the two worst candy bars ever made. You take that back. The two worst candy bars ever made. Tell them, people, in the comments. Tell them. Really? You're going to tell me an Almond Joy is worse? It's one of the three worst candy bars <laughs> ever made. Oh, boy. 
Oh, ooh, Kit Kat! I love Kit Kat. That is a giant egg Kit Kat. Golden white chocolate for deliciously caramelized break. Break me off one. Break me off. Break me off a that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> you didn't break it on the line. You're a monster. <laughs> You're know. probably the kind that I'm would the open one. this and just eat from the top corner. I am. You're that guy. I am. I also don't string my string cheese. Chomp it right off. Kit Kat tastes like a giant Kit Kat. All right, now on to the unique one, the gold Kit Kat. I don't like its color. I'm gonna make you eat it the right, the right way because I can't handle okay. it when people eat Kit Kats like an animal. Like the wrong way? Hey Cam. I can't feel my nose. I didn't want to hit you in the face. I'm or like I want to hit you in the cheek. You turned it. I know. It. I got scared. <laughs> that opportunity has seized itself. Oh. I'm so happy I waited because that legit angered me to the core. I wish you could have felt like I turned to you and I was like, yes. I, my blood boiled and I was like, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I think you slapped the Kit Kat right out of my face. That was called a slap bet, which Cam lost. <laughs> A while ago when we did it was a long time ago. We have decided the furthest to go wins out of 10 tries and the winner gets a slap bet. <laughs> I didn't think I was ever going to use it, but man, that took me to that level. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, gold Kit Kat. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Sorry, I hit you in the face. I forgive you. If you guys remember the delicious Thrills gum from Canada that tastes like soap, they have a candy that tastes like perfume and soap. It's called Musk, and it's delicious. Why? And we've all done this. I know we all have. You been? You went to apply, and you actually got it on your tongue, <laughs> right in the face. Those don't look like lifesavers, dude. This smells like my grandma's sock drawer. It's actually kind of tasty. You know what? <laughs> it does. Bad. It tastes like potpourri and soap. But it's good. Does this mean our breath's gonna smell like potpourri? No, no. Oh, that's yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's a fruit pastille. Pastilles. Fruit pastilles. pastilles. Now that is good. What Weird. is that? Is there more than one color, or is mm -hmm. it just one color? It's a long time to chew. These are really good. On to the next one. Lifesaver Fruit Tingles. All three of these Lifesavers have been different consistencies, but none of them have been, I want that one. Too bad. But none of them have been like the Lifesavers in the States. Yeah, ours are like clear hard candy. Look, mm -hmm. there's one for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it fizzes! Wow. Fruit tingling. Fruit tingles! Boom! I like oh, it. Fantastic. Retro wow. party mix. Yeah, it's just old school gummies. There's the teeth and the gums. You got the teeth? That's weird. Little race car. <laughs> so gross. Did it work? <laughs> if you keep your lip down. There you go. <laughs> Grody. Give me some of them gumpy candy, man. Oh, look at the pineapple. Eat that. <gasps> <laughs> I gotta say, those gummy teeth are disgusting. <laughs> Coke bottle. How's that pineapple thing I just gave you? There's a raspberry. Not that great. Not my favorite. No, those are bad. Be gone. I'm a big fan of gummy candies. And the marshmallow on, like the white clear parts, actually tastes like marshmallow, which is weird. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Now, I'm a huge fan of gummy worms, gummy bears, gummy These are candies. sour squirms. Did you sour bite this one good. and put it back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah. But their gummy isn't gummy. It's like a jelly. Mm-hmm. It doesn't like chew, 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 fall apart. It's like fall apart because you're just chewing through like just gelatinous stuff. Yeah. It's different though. 
Next! What are these? All right, shapes. Shapes. shapes Flavor are you can see. Are these crackers? I think so. Oh, dang. You have the pizza ones. Oh, pizza. Oh, pizza, and what's yours? Barbecue. I'm excited for these, because I love pizza flavored things like Combos. Like combos, but also Pringles. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <sighs> mm. I don't like barbecue flavored stuff. This is really good. Wow. You can see the flavor. Pizza ones are where it's at. I can taste the marinara. I like the cracker itself. Yeah. It's really good. It's like a thick, dense. Like it's got some like a snap to it. Like the crackers we have, they like you bite them and they crumble and fall apart. But these are like chunk. Yeah. Chunk. Yeah. I love it. I'm down with the shapes. Last one is Vegemite. It's very similar to the British Marmite. People will disagree, but they are similar. So please try it on toast or saltine crackers with butter. Now, the one thing that I learned when we did the Marmite from our British food video is that we put it on a bit thick. Really? That was my fault. That was a bad. But you liked it. I hated it. Oh, that is powerful. <sighs> All I think of is that song by Men at Work. He just smiled and gave me yeah, a Vegemite, Vegemite sandwich. sandwich. And he said, I come from a London under. It looks legit like oil dripped into an oil pan. B vitamins for vitality. Wow, that is thick. Goodness. I'm gonna regret this. It looks like Elvis's hair. <laughs> Gross. Or his shoe polish. All right. Maybe the butter will help. <clears throat> a bunch of Vegemite on a cracker. He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite cracker. Go. Was way worse than that. <laughs> Did you get it down? Uh, I still taste metal. That was terrible. I dare say <laughs> the Marmite tastes better. <laughs> wow. You know, this comes in jars like the size of peanut butter. <laughs> sick. You're sick. Wow, that was so bad. Way there. I'm still at a loss for words. I've never had something like make me dry heave like that. You know, Australia, I don't understand your Vegemite, but boy, do I understand your Tim Tam Slams. Tim Tam Slams. Tim Tam Slams. Oh, yeah. Tim Tam Slams the way to go. Wow. So if you don't do anything else in Australia, you need to slam Tim Tam. All day, every day, it is fantastic. So magical. Huge thank you to you, Pete, for sending us this box of goodies from Australia. Most of it was good. Most of it was <laughs> delicious. But, but man, thank you, it's a pleasure to try the different foods from all over the world. Major thanks to all of our members for supporting this show, and we'll see you next time. Laters! Peace. <sighs> Their chests, man. They're jacked. And did you see that one gutsy Australian who the kangaroo had his dog in a chokehold? <laughs> and the guy went... walked up and sucker punched the kangaroo right in the face? <laughs> Let's go back to where the kangaroo had a dog in a chokehold. Wait, <laughs> did you not see this?